The things we take for granted. It's become so normal to us that we have this massive mega shopping and entertainment attraction right in our own backyard. So much that people, for some reason, like to talk about how much they don't like the mall. As if having every store you could possibly imagine, along with an amusement park, a water park, movie theaters, bowling, mini golf, a fully accredited zoo, escape rooms, ice skating, zip lining, and over 90 different dining options all in one place, somehow makes that a place you don't want to go? I just don't get it. In the middle of an Edmonton winter, there's nothing quite like escaping to the warm, humid weather of the World Water Park. And I love taking a staycation at the Fantasyland Hotel for the weekend. Maybe even getting to stay in one of its most unique accommodations. Room number 438. The one and only room with a window that overlooks the World Water Park. The World Water Park. The World Water Park. The World Water Park. I've been collecting vintage West Empton Mall memorabilia for a while now. It's admittedly a pretty slow process. Back in the day, there were souvenirs galore, but there's really not a ton of them around that pop up on the market today. I kind of suspect that sadly, many were discarded over the years. Still, I do manage to get my hands on some really interesting pieces. Like my West Empton Mall Spoon Collection. And I actually love its little sub-series of different West Empton Mall attractions. I also really like the retro fashions of West Empton Mall. Fellow YouTuber and West Empton Mall enthusiast Lake Nipissing and I flaunted our flair for tasteful retro attire in a previous video. But collecting these postcards, photos, and trinkets from days past, well, it just really reminds me of my childhood here in Edmonton and with growing up visiting West Edmonton Mall. It's funny, people assume I was some sort of crazy mall rat in my teenage years and I guess I kind of was, but really no more so than any other Edmontonian at the time. And I would argue that being a mall rat at Westington Mall is a little different than being a mall rat anywhere else. Other malls might have a movie theater, but when you're chilling out at Westington Mall, it's not like you're hanging around doing nothing. You're visiting amusement park or relaxing at the beach. So yeah, I think the reason I like talking about Westington Mall so much is that all of my memories from there are good ones. As a kid, my dad took me to the laser maze. I shook hands with a dolphin. I explored the dark caverns behind the Fantasy World Play Park, and I went on submarine rides. Then, as I got older, I spent what feels today like entire summers just roaming around the mall with my brother and our friends, really doing anything we wanted with the help of our Super Summer Attractions Pass. And of course, with a few extra dollars in our pocket to play some games at Wizard's Castle or recharge at McDonald's. And now as I'm getting older, I still get to enjoy them all and do fun things like book rooms at the Fantasyland Hotel. Like the now long gone World Water Park theme room. It, along with its replacement, the Pirate Theme Room, are my favorite theme rooms in the Fantasyland Hotel. And the reasoning for this is obvious. Besides the fact that they're both so well done, it's that room number 438 is the only hotel room in the world which overlooks the World Water Park. And even though I love that Pirate Theme Room today, there was something about the old World Water Park theme room that I just can't let go of. I think it was how much it reminded me of West Edmonton Mall back in the 80s and 90s. That cruise ship and the beachside decor really struck a chord with me. I was exceedingly lucky to not only be the last person to ever stay in the World Water Park theme room, but to also be the first person to ever stay in the pirate theme room. But my luck didn't end there. Today, I have a little mini museum of West Edmonton Mall memorabilia right in my home. and. It features a pretty unique piece. At over 11 feet wide, this powered window shade graced the World Water Park theme room for years. Whether you wanted to snag a few extra hours of shut-eye, or if you wanted to enjoy a little bit of privacy while enjoying the room's hot tub overlooking the Blue Thunder Wave Pool, this window shade was your friend. An iconic part of the World Water Park theme room, and once destined for the dumpster, it now lives in my web museum. Installation proved to be a little tricky, considering I'm not much of a handyman. First, I needed to mount it on some planks of wood so I could align it properly on my wall. I cobbled together a makeshift frame, 
and while I hope to someday come up with a better cover for it, I was able to hide it to my satisfaction. The best part is, the motor mechanism still works today. Okay, I admit, the plate on this switch has seen some better days, but I'm hesitant to replace it. I like the cool little mini paintings that are on it. They show the screen in the lower position on the bottom, and above it, the raised position showing the World Water Park behind it. Really, this whole contraption has seen better days, but I have no regrets about mounting it on my wall. Painted at a time after the bungee tower and Sunrunner were added to the park, but before the water slides were changed from beige to color, the illustrated rendition of the World Water Park as seen from room 438 immediately pulls the viewer back to warm lapping shores of Edmonton's own tropical paradise. Back when the Skyscreamer used to land in a splashdown pool, and when the rear wall of the World Water Park had mirrors on it. So, the next time you glance up at those windows above the Blue Thunder Wave Pool, remember the unique accommodations that lay beyond the glass. Remember before the pirate ship and that awesome statue. Remember the cruise liner, the cabana styling, and those beach style walls. And remember what separated the waves below from one of Edmonton's most unique accommodations. Remember, Room 3 If you could take home any souvenir from mall history for your own web museum, what would it be? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and a share, and maybe even visit our Patreon page. And why not check out one of our other videos, all about the greatest indoor show on earth, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, and thanks for watching.